Right next bit then, so implicit is absolutely awesome. I love doing stuff like differentiated, integrating, trig, logs. It's hardcore, it's proper hardcore maths. It's really, really tough, but you get like a sense of achievement from doing it. And stuff that looks a little bit trickier sometimes isn't, if you can just follow the rules. Um, like implicit isn't, it looks dead hard, but it's dead simple. You just differentiate the bits that have the wrong letter. Stick a dy by dx next to it. Now let's have a look at this one then. This one <laughs> is using the product rule. So I've got like a, an x cubed y. So if you remember what I do, whenever I'm doing product rule, so I've got my two bits times together to identify it properly, I always box it. Although well, I might not have done maybe that product rule. I don't know, I've done product rule for that one. Yeah, so I'll box it to help myself, to remind me that I'm doing it. So, remember for my product rule, I do first bit times second bit differentiated, plus second bit times by first bit differentiated. There. So the first bit is x cubed. The second bit is y, so that becomes 1, and then one lot of dy by dx because it's the wrong letter. Which is nice because it just kind of shows you that you know when we differentiated and we always wrote down that y when we differentiate becomes dy by dx. You're actually doing implicit differentiation. So we just told you to write it down, but every time you go from y to dy by dx, you're actually doing implicit differentiation. So you've been doing multivariable calculus from the start. Right, the second bit is a y, and then the first bit is a 3x squared. There. there you go. That's not too bad, is it? There. But it's always, on, on, the, um, on the implicit questions, there's always a chain rule part of it. So we've got x, y, so make sure you box the x, y. So you really want to have a go at this. So first bit is x, second bit is one that I do want, second bit differentiated. And then the first bit times by second bit differentiated. So I've got x dy dx plus y. Now if you look, these are not equations. Because there's no equals. So don't be writing dy by dx in quotes. What you've got is an expression there. Uh, let's have a look at this one then, see if you beat me to this one. So first bit is a y, second bit is cos. So I'll write that down. Differentiate cos goes to minus sign. Then second bit times by 1. So it gives me a minus y sine x. Have I done this right? Um, then cos x. Ooh, look! I've got the y, but I've not done the dy by dx next to it. Oh, shocker. That's me just kind of showing off and then getting it wrong. Cos x, dy dx. There. There we go. So look at example four. <laughs> look at that! That's monstrous. Right, let's give it a go then. So the e to the 2x is fine. That's 2 e to the 2x. The minus. Now I'm going to do, as uh, imagine there's a bracket around it when I do this. So I've got x, so first bit, second bit differentiated, cos y dy dx. Second bit, sine y, first bit differentiated, 1. There, so that's my product rule for that part. Then I've got a 3x squared and a y squared. So first bit, 3x squared. Second bit differentiated, 2y dy dx. Second bit times by first bit differentiated. Let's expand these brackets. So I've got 2e to the 2x minus x cos y. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the dy by dx as a slightly different colour, then it stands out. Uh, then I've got minus sine y. I'll probably make a mistake on this. I'm guaranteed to have done that at some point. I can't not make a mistake. Hopefully you'll spot it. Uh, so 
So I've set the dy by dx bits on one side. So what I might do, because that's a minus, I might actually take this whole term over there, and that's a plus, so it kind of makes sense really. So I'm only doing this just to get my signs positive. I mean, I could have just cheated and left it on the left and then multiply through by minus one. So the two e to the two x is there. I've got to move this six x squared. So that's six x y squared, isn't it? Uh, can I sneak that in there? x, y squared. Then, if you imagine, I'm taking, uh, let's change colour, I'm taking these two out as a factor of dy by dx. So they're in a bracket. So I can be a bit sneaky and do two in one way. So if you imagine that's there a bracket times by dy by dx, I can take them down as a divide together. If you're not happy with that, then take it out as a factor first, but I'm just being sneaky. Uh, I'm going to check the answer to make sure it's the same. Uh, here we all have got 2e to the 2x minus sine y minus 6xy squared, 6x squared y plus x cos y. You would be glad to know I've got it right. That's good. <laughs> but I really like these. a really cool algebra stuff that you're doing. It is proper hardcore stuff. And with practice, it's, it's quite, you know, straightforward. So here's one for you to do. Please have a go at it. I'm going to box up the e to the 2xy and the x squared y. And you can follow what they've done. Oh my word. See, they've kind of done it in full. Like this bit is like they're working for it to do in the product rule, whereas I just bang it in the product rule straight away. So like, let's have a look. So that, this part here, hang on, let me box it. So the first product rule we did, that e to the 2x y is that, and that goes to the wrong letter, and then this is the second product rule. Um, and then that's it, there's loads to practice. These are like a mega, mega spend time practice thing. Get these right, it's awesome. Right, well done everyone, bye bye.